Kurds warned by General Soleimani of consequences of referendum. Mr. Soleimani headed meetings with local delegations, in Iraqi Kurdistan region. Mr. Soleimani also had several private meetings with Mr. Massoud Barzani, the President, and Mikrovin Barzani, the Prime Minister of the Iraqi Kurdistan region and the leaders of other parties, including Change, Goran, Party, Dabak said in an interview with the Iranian media on Sunday. He added that the Iranian side had warned the Kurds not to hold an independence referendum because all powers will stand united against the Iraqi Kurdistan region. According to Dabak, the Iranian side also told the KRG officials and Kurdish groups that Tehran wants the Iraqi Kurds' achievements to be maintained within the framework of the Iraqi constitution. He lauded General Soleimani and other Iranian officials' efforts to help the Kurds, and said, we always need relations and friendship of Iran. In relevant remarks earlier this month, Dab announced that the Kurdish leaders are now ready to resolve the problems created after the independence referendum through talks, lauding efforts made by General Soleimani to this end. Mr. Soleimani is the one who has really treated the Iraqi Kurds honestly and he had issued warnings about, consequences of, holding the referendum in the Iraqi Kurdistan region before it was held, Da said. It seems that the Islamic Republic of Iran seeks to resolve the problems between the Kurdistan region and the central government in Iraq based on the Iraqi constitution and we assess Iran's measures in this regard as positive, he said. Meantime, a senior Kurdish Iraqi legislator praised General Soleimani for his mediatory role which led to the settlement of problems after the September 25 independence referendum in the Iraqi Kurdistan region. Recently, after holding the referendum, a nine-article agreement was signed between Hashd al-Shabi, Iraqi Popular Forces, Commander Hadi al-Amari and Bayful Talabani, a commander of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, PUK and son of late Jil Talabani, under the supervision of Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi and mediated by Qasem Soleimani, the IRG Sikhs Force Commander, based on which the referendum results were called off until an unspecified time, Masoud Haider wrote on his Facebook, Russian news agency Sputnik reported. Other Kurdish lawmakers were also quoted by Reuters as saying that General Soleimani met leaders from the Buk, one of the two main Kurdish political parties in Iraq and an ally of Tehran, in the city of Soleimania the day before Premier al-Abadi ordered his forces to advance on Kirkuk. Reuters reported that General Soleimani told the Kurdish leaders that their Peshmerga forces would not be able to beat Abadi's troops, which had backing from the West and regional powers Iran and Turkey. Soleimani's visit dot 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 was to give a last-minute chance for the decision-makers not to commit a fatal mistake, Reuters quoted one Puk lawmaker as saying. Alabama Tilabani, a leading Puk official, said the Iranian general only provided what she described as wise counsel in his meetings with Kurdish leaders. Soleimani advised us that Kirkuk should return to the law and the constitution, so let us come to an understanding she said on the Arabic-language TV station Al-Hadoth. By Tehran, by Tehran.